Hello friends, this video on biological classification part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so far we have discussed about the different types of bacteria, their structure and their habitat. Mostly we have discussed these topics. Now let us look at the reproduction. How do bacteria reproduce? Now bacteria can reproduce by both the modes that is they can reproduce asexually as well as sexually. Now when I talk about asexual reproduction they can reproduce by fission or they can reproduce by spore formation. Now see we have discussed about reproduction in one of our lessons in class 10 right where i have told you about the different types of asexual reproduction different types of sexual reproduction so it is good if you are aware of those things because here in this lesson i will not talk about each of these mode in detail because that we, you have already learned in class 10. so in bacteria you will have the most commonly it is by fission and if it is sexual mode However, asexual reproduction is more common in bacteria than, sexu than sexual mode of reproduction. So let us now see how do bacteria reproduce asexually. So as I said, there are different methods of asexual reproduction for bacteria. So right now we will talk about fission. So what is fission? We we have already studied about the multiple fission and binary fission in our previous classes. It is nothing but a process in which the parent organism splits into two daughter organisms. Now let us see how the process exactly happens in case of a bacteria. Let us suppose this is a bacteria, right? So this bacteria has one copy of chromosome let us suppose inside this black colored structure which is shown is a denotes the chromosome we, we all know what is a chromosome it is a, that part of a cell which carries the genetic material okay so now what happens is this bacteria makes a copy of its chromosome so earlier there was one chromosome now it makes a copy of the chromosome so now it has two chromosomes now as the chromosome copies itself the cell starts enlarging because the bacteria is made up of one cell so this one cell constitutes bacteria so this cell will enlarge it will become it will increase in size and now this cell has two chromosomes. Gradually, these two chromosomes start moving towards each corner. So this chromosome, so this chromosome tend to move towards the side. This chromosome tend to move towards this side. So this side. So they tend to move away from each other. And then what happens? A wall is formed in the middle. So somewhat like this. So here you see, now since they have moved too far from each other, so we see that a wall kind of structure is formed between them. And then finally, it divides into two. So now we started with one parent organism and this resulted in two daughter organisms. But once the fission happens, the parent ceases to exist because the parent itself splits into two daughter organisms so this is known as binary fission by binary because two daughter organisms are produced that is why it is called binary fission so this is how bacteria reproduce asexually by the process of fission now let us have a look at the sexual reproduction in bacteria as I said, in some bacteria, this process of conjugation is seen where uh, the transfer of genetic material takes place. And that is how sexual reproduction happens. So let us see what exactly happens there. So again, we have one bacteria. Now, whenever I talk about sexual mode of reproduction, I need two parents, right? For asexual mode, one parent can give rise to new organisms. But whenever I talk about sexual, I need two parents, correct? So this is one parent. So I need another parent. 
Okay, so these are two bacteria. Now here you see in one the chromosome is black in color whereas in the other the chromosome is red in color. Why, why have I made it a different color? Just to denote that two, the two different bacteria has got different genetic material. Right? So one has this black colored material denoting a specific type of genetic material. The other one has some different genetic material. Now during sexual reproduction or during the process of conjugation, a bridge-like structure is formed between the two parent bacteria. So there is a bridge-like structure which will connect the two bacteria. Now what will happen? Let us call this as bacteria 1 and this is bacteria 2. Now what happens? This bacteria 1 will pass some of its chromosome or all of its chromosome to bacteria 2 through the bridge. So now bridge acts as a uh, connection between the two bacteria. So now one will send some part of its chromosome, it will contribute some part of its chromosome or the entire chromosome and will pass it to 2. So here you see it is passing some part of its chromosome which is blue in color. So this part is being transferred through this bridge to bacteria 2. Now 2 already had its own chromosome, right? So when this blue colored thing came in two, so what happened? The chromosome, it got mixed with the already existing chromosome of two. So already existing was black in color. But now this bluish color came, so it also got combined with that black color. So the mixing of the two chromosomes took place. So now my chromosome two, now if you look at the bacteria two, its chromosome is little altered. And now this bacteria too will again reproduce by fission. It will give rise to two daughter organisms. Fission I already discussed. So again during fission what will happen? A copy of this bluish black chromosome will be formed and then they will move towards each corner. A wall will be formed and then it will split into two daughter organisms. So now if you see you started with organisms like one and two. But what you got is neither exactly similar to 1 nor exactly similar to 2. It is a combination of the two. So in case of asexual reproduction, that is in case of fission, the daughter organism which was formed was genetically identical to the parent. But in this case, the daughter organisms or the new bacteria which are formed have different genetic combination when compared to the parents. Right? So this is how uh, reproduction happens in case of bacteria. Now that we have discussed almost every important aspect of the kingdom Monera, we talked about the habitat of different types of bacteria, structure of different types of bacteria, their uh, modes of reproduction. So we have got fair idea about bacteria. So what do you think is the overall significance of bacteria? We, we, all, we already spoke about some of the advantages of bacteria. We have also spoke about the disadvantages of bacteria when they act as pathogens and cause severe diseases. So we spoke about both the things. So what do you think is the overall significance of bacteria? Now when you look at the negative side of bacteria, the negative side is these can be pathogens. But that doesn't mean that all bacteria are pathogens. Right? But when you look at the positive side of it, there are a lot of positive things. The first one is they are a very important decomposers. Decomposers, so they help in getting rid of the dead and decaying matter present on this earth. They help in recycling nutrients that is extremely important in our environment. Nutrients need to be recycled because every living organism needs nutrients. So if the nutrients remain accumulated in one place, so all other organisms will get rid of those nutrients, right? So the nutrients need to be recycled and bacteria helps in that recycling. So let us quickly see how bacteria helps in recycling nutrients. Now, let us suppose here are the decomposers. So when I say decomposers, right now I am talking about bacteria. So bacteria is somewhere here. So what will these bacteria do? For example, if I take the example of rhizobium, 
which are present in the root nodules of legumes right i spoke about that some time back so they help in nitrogen fixation so during nitrogen fixation what do they do or during there are some bacteria which undergo chemosynthetic uh, which are chemoautotrophs so what do they do they try to snatch out um, nutrients like sulfur and nitrogen from inorganic substances right so these decomposers actually give nutrients or they snatch out nutrients and provide these nutrients to the plants because plants need these nutrients whether we talk about nitrogen or sulfur they are all very very important for plants now what happens when these nutrients are sufficiently provided to the plants the plants will grow right when plants grow these plants can act as raw materials these plants will act as raw materials to produce a variety of organic plus synthetic materials right now these organic and synthetic materials will then be taken to the factories and industries to produce different products which we use in our day to day life now these products are used by animals now plant products are also used by animals for their survival now when these animals and plants they die where do they go they are decomposed by the decomposers and during this process of decomposition it provides nutrients because when they decompose where what do they do after decomposing the dead and decaying matter they prepare, the decomposers produce humus and increases the soil fertility because they put everything in the soil they provide nutrients to the soil which help in plant growth and then this cycle keep on continuing right so we see that how important role bacteria play as decomposers right and also for recycling the nutrients besides that it also helps to produce food and medicines when i say food for example the production of curd from milk happens with the help of lactobacillus again it helps in fertilizing the fields as i said during the process of decomposition it provides manure to the soil when you give manure to the soil the fertility of the soil increases so you are basically fertilizing the fields right so these are some of the very important roles played by uh, bacteria for the benefit of our environment and all other living organisms so with this i'll conclude my discussion on the first kingdom that is kingdom monera which includes all types of bacteria thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again